The OECD is marking its 60th anniversary in uncertain and troubled times. The COVID-19 pandemic changed our world in 2020 and poses a challenge for us all as we try to save lives, jobs and our communities. The OECD itself emerged from a crisis and we have overcome others. We know from experience that we will get through this one. The Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development was created 60 years ago to bring countries together to promote the economic and social well-being of their peoples and spread the promise of cooperation and development throughout the world. Our countries reached out to each other for trade and investment to learn from one another and share ideas and best practices. The OECD forged groundbreaking standards to raise the bar and level the playing field, to enable our countries to advance together. We urged reforms, established the anti-bribery convention, guidelines for multinational businesses, norms for financial support and development assistance, and a polluter pays principle before anyone knew our climate was changing. We were ahead of the curve on the digital economy too, issuing guidelines to protect personal data before the internet age. Our joint efforts brought stability and prosperity and drew our world closer together. The OECD went global, welcoming in new members and worked alongside many countries. We entered the new millennium feeling buoyant, connected and confident. But then came the 2008 crisis. The collapse of financial markets shook our world. Globalization had benefited the lucky few, working people, from the lowest earners to the squeezed middle class felt betrayed and left out. Change was needed. We took a long, hard look at ourselves and charted a bold new course. With our member countries, our partners, business and labour leaders, international organisations and our increasingly diverse stakeholder community into a decade of transformation to forge better policies for better lives and a stronger, cleaner, fairer world. We widened our membership and built stronger links with the G7 G20, APEC, and the United Nations. And we listen to people constantly through our OECD forum and our burgeoning media and interactive platforms. We examined what really matters in people's lives and reconnected with our founding mission by going beyond GDP and to put people's well being at the center. We launched new approaches to economic challenges to challenge our thinking and make policies more resilient and agile. Thanks to our inclusive growth initiative, we sought to bridge divides, focusing on inequalities in wealth and opportunity, the gender gap and protecting the most vulnerable. We stepped up our fight against tax havens and left nowhere to hide by ending bank secrecy and exposing 84 million offshore accounts worth 10 trillion euros. We took unprecedented steps to ensure multinationals pay their fair share of taxes wherever they do business and supported revenue authorities in developing countries. We promoted responsible business conduct within companies and along their supply chains. And we urged our countries to go green building on half a century of environmental work to support the Paris Agreement to safeguard our climate and our biodiversity, our planet and the future of our children. To improve education, we took the bedrock of our PISA tests and updated them for teachers and adults in a digital age. Our going digital strategy kept us ahead of the technological wave as we addressed the likes of blockchain forged new principles on artificial intelligence and laid the ground for the future of work. We transformed to respond to the world's most pressing challenges by integrating our economic, social and environmental work 
pioneering new initiatives on climate, housing, sustainable infrastructure and making the OECD more impactful. A do tank in tune with the needs of member countries and the global community. Still, COVID-19 caught us off guard, but not off our game. We responded as we've always done, steadying the ship and shifting into gear with timely data and analysis on our coronavirus hub as part of a massive global response to help countries navigate through the crisis and prepare for the future. The pandemic has amplified other critical global challenges we've long faced and has made addressing them more urgent than ever. The crisis has brought us to a moment of truth no country can address these global challenges alone. Only by acting together multilaterally can we overcome them and build our world back better. The OECD. Working together. Recovering together. Imagining together. Daring together.